Big World, it's KJ Cool here. Let's go. Drama. This way. Yes, Miss Gabby Hanna, she's back at it again, guys. She has been letting it rip on every platform. She's on the Gabby Spammer hate train. These bitches is pressed. Administer mouth to mouth. I am the champ. You know what I am about. Fuck, those aren't the words. Attention, I'm in need you to face front. You don't want to smoke with me. This is a lace blunt. Rep Jackie Chan. I ain't talking about fake stunts. My crown won't fit on your bum ass lace front. <laughs> no, man. No, ma'am. Most, uh, let's no, say, uh, greatest oh, breakdown. Greatest metal breakdown. I don't think they're going to show up. Well, let's say, but they might. <laughs> like, let's say Gabby Hanna is nominated for greatest metal breakdown. <laughs> she might show up to accept. No comments. <laughs> and I mean, that would be great. I would definitely, I would present her. And um, then I can see us getting a little argument during her acceptance. And then we could play her off. We can play the music that's like, okay, play her off. Yeah. Sounds good. I, I wish her well. No comment. <laughs> no problem. Aw, poor Just thing. an example. Yeah, yeah, I feel bad for him. So, are we gonna so this live Insta was put up yesterday in response to frenemies, Trisha and Ethan saying, just jokey about this. And you know who's lost it? Gabby Lama. I get a hypnotist. All the stops out till they call the cops out. And I don't till you Oh man, I can't with her crappy singing. Stop it! Stop just singing in the kitchen like that. That's why everyone thinks you're a shite singer. Get into a studio, get some lessons, girlfriend. So she's had an hour by hour Twitter tirade. I wish I could harass people the way they harass me, but my audience doesn't care about them. Man, you're a llama. Finally starting my ADHD medication tomorrow. <laughs> Man, you did it a long time ago. I don't think you are neurotypical, and if you are seeing a doctor, they should be telling you to get off the freaking interwebs. Since your doctor doesn't seem to realize that you are harassing the whole of social media, I hooked up my old mate, Nino Brown. I watch this cat every day. He, he's very inspirational. But I was just watching this one yesterday about being canceled, and man, he was talking about you, Gabby Lama. Listen up and learn something. Let me tell you something. I'm at an age and a level where I could tell it ain't gonna work between me and you just based off the conversation. Like if you call me and you always in some shit and you always got something going on, you got weird energy. You canceled. I can't rock with you like that. That's right, Gabby Lama. You got weird mother effing energy. You're all over the shop. You need to get off the webs, get on some meds and, uh, just shut up for a bit because nobody's interested in your journey because everyone has their own journeys. Nobody is interested because you use it as an excuse. Did you hear me, Gabby Lama? You use everything as an excuse because you want to blame everything. You just don't take responsibility and say, yeah, I'm looping. I'm freaking mental at the moment. I need, to, <laughs> I need to, you know, go and hang out with some llamas or something. Jesus. As you can see, these tweets came thick and fast every hour. I would also appreciate if you watch my series with an open heart and mind. Oh God, can you stop lecturing everybody? You're the one that's losing it. Stop twisting it around to everyone else and saying that they don't watch stuff with an open heart and mind because everybody does. But you're the one that is abusing everyone and being a dickhead online. I mean, I'm just saying, hey, there's a lot of mental issues out there that people have. A lot of people don't talk about it nonstop as an excuse for their behavior. You've been doing this for over 10 years, this behavior, so shut the F Understand up. Understand what I'm saying? If you call me and you always talking about what's going on in the street, you always talking about what's going on in the news. Man, I can't rock with you like that. You chatty patty. You talk too much. You cancel. Yeah. Did you hear Nino? You talk too much. You chatty patty. It's funny. We say chatty Kathy over here, but same thing, man. And stop lecturing us because we all 
can read about ADHD. You're not the first person to have it and you're not the last. And nobody is interested in what you're saying because guess what, good friend? You're in a manic episode. You are in like, it's like you're in the core of the tornado at the moment. No one wants to hear your shit. Go get better and come back with a clear head and then you can talk about it. But right now, you are being a freaking mental, unhinged llama. I'm just saying. I know you're not going to come for me because <laughs> you only go for people that give you clout. I am nobody. Hey, man, I get less views than that bird that you made fun of that made fun of your freaking book. You've just got an ugly personality. Hey, while you're seeing your pretend doctor, can you ask them if having ADHD makes you have a really ugly personality that's completely defensive and unhinged? And at the same time, an inflated ego where you think you're the most talented person on the earth and that you're always right? Can you ask that? Because I don't think that's got anything to do with ADHD. I think it's got to do with you and your goddamn twisted DNA, man. If you call me, man, and you negative, you always bitter, you always talking about your no good ass baby daddy or no good ass baby mama or this one or that one, you got an ugly personality. You cancel, I can't rock with you like that. Remember at the beginning when the H3 was wanting to give her the award for the biggest mental breakdown? Well, she's just fighting back and she really isn't even making any sense. Like neurodivergency and its effects of trauma and negativity on the brain? What the f*** are you talking about? The only reason why you're having negativity on your brain is because you're creating it. And I feel like I'm bashing my head against a wall when I see you every day lashing out at someone. Like there's got to be, there's got to be some recourse that YouTube does where they ha they take people unhinged like they just suspend them for a while and say yeah you girl you need to go and see a doctor with a degree <laughs> Because, yeah, you break down, girl. And before all you freaking SJWs start coming for me and going, don't make fun of people with mental illness or having breakdowns. I'm not. She's putting it on a public platform and she's acting unhinged. And by the way, she's done this for years and she's just got a bitch face. She says nasty, nasty things about people. Light and out. That's just my feelings. And I don't like the girl. That's why I've never watched her. She just, even just her face makes me angry because she's so smarmy and so right all the time. Nobody likes a right fighter. Just letting you know, Gabby Lama. And uh, here's a quick quote from Dr. Phil. I've always liked this quote that he says, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? Because right now, you just want to be right about everything. And guess what? The outcome is, you're freaking unhappy every day. Whew, man, she needs to go with Dr. Phil. Well, he just a straight shooter, good old boy, say, hey lady, you want to be right or you want to be happy? Understand what I'm saying? If you call me, man, and we in a conversation and you start to feel like somebody owe you something and you start to feel like you entitled you start to feel like people owe you something just cause got down you you got down did a little something for them and you feel like they supposed to give you a lot of something for them i can't rock with you like that you feel entitled you cancel if you call me and you talking about who wave you finna ride on when you were just on another wave last week and you ain't loyal to nobody you a wave rider I can't rock with you like that. You cancel. Did you hear that, Llama? Use a wave rider. And you've got a new series coming out. And I swear on the Bible that if you are doing all this mad shit for clout, I don't know what I'm going to do, man. I'm going to have to go outside and punch the air nonstop. <laughs> Because I hate people like you that just love doing shit for clout. I used to hate Trisha Paytas, but she's changed. I like her now, but I hated all that fishing for trout clout. And if you call me and you talking about what's going on on Facebook and you worrying about what's going on Instagram and who dating who and who Kim Kardashian and all them got going on, man, I ain't worried about you, man. And you worry about followers and stuff like that? You worry about how many followers he got instead of how much dollar was he got? I can't rock with you like that because you fake famous. You on that type of time. You See, can't. me and Nina, we can't rock with you like that because you fake famous. That's you, Gabster. Uh, he is directly talking to you. Uh, I literally hope someone sends you my video and you take heed from Mr. Nino Brown because he's a very wide man. This type of energy that I'm on, I done been there, done that. I done hung around that. I don't want that around me no more. You got low energy. You got bad energy. I need people that bring the vibe. I need people that's on what I own, that's trying to level me up instead of bring me down to yesteryear. That's teenage shit. That's high school shit. Don't call me about that no more. That's that college shit. That's that shit we did when we were kids. We ain't kids no more. We grown. So if you ain't calling me with some grown up energy about these kids in here, you understand me? Or how we finna eat or what we going this weekend or hang out and talk about a business we finna open up? 
Man, don't call me like that. You canceled. We the business. Damn it, Nino's a why, 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 wise man. That's high school stuff. Maybe Gabby's fans are all teenagers and high schoolers. Maybe that's why she gets all worked up because they're like, yeah, girl, you got to fight that shit, girl. Don't let people be dissing you, girl. Man, you just got to let shit go. Who cares? Who actually cares? Because if people are going to love you, they're going to love you. If they're going to hate you, they're going to hate you. There's nothing you can say that's going to twist it. And I know you think by claiming that you've now found out you got ADHD that everyone's going to go, oh, I forgive Gamme because she was had an ADHD. It's like, nah, man, shit just doesn't freaking work like that. You've had an ugly, ugly personality for years. You got a lot of undoing to do. Because you've never leveled up. Just as Nino said, why are you hanging around with people that you're constantly leveling down to? And that's my feelings. You actually are leveling down to teenage mentality. You need to level up and listen to people that are your own age, maybe. Go and hang out with some older people. Learn some shit. Get wise. I'm over people like this on social media. She's got she's got my goat. There's bird because she's the most heinous at it at the moment but I'm just sick of people carrying on and anything anything that anyone says the the fans or whoever themselves come back at you going oh so you're gonna pick on me and I've got a mental illness it's like shut the up <laughs> uh, put your phone down and get off and get some goddamn humility about yourself <clears throat> no one wants to see you losing it every day it's not interesting I know you get millions of views but they're millions of hate views and then you get angry that everyone's saying shit to you. It's a vicious circle that Gabster has created for her herself. And I know that Trisha realized this years ago, that she created a very vicious circle that she was the conductor of. And I know that's why she's distanced herself from Gabby Lama. But the fact is, this girl needs to realize it herself. Not everyone's out to get her. I'm not even out to get her. I'm just over it. I'm over people like her carrying on. And you can't say a thing to them because no matter what you say, they're like, oh my God, you pick on me because I'm a woman. You pick on me because I've got a mental disorder. Nah, it's not like that. <gasps> I'm exhausted. Next. <laughs> hey, thanks, Walter. Anyways, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Use all your little jazz hands on all those magical buttons, because you know it makes one little koala really happy. And if you sub, please let me know, because I will be sending you 50 years of free good vibes. I mean, seriously, these days, that is a bloody bargain. Cheers. <laughs> Lama, super lama, drama lama, big fat mama lama, happy lama, sad lama, mentally disturbed lama, super lama, drama lama, big fat mama lama, happy lama, sad lama, mentally disturbed lama, super lama, drama lama, big fat mama lama, happy lama, sad lama, mentally disturbed.